Well, this is Saul again with you guys with the Porsche Macan project. We're gonna be putting new shoes on this puppy today. Um, I have to be able to get it to fit because the wheels, even though they're for a Porsche, they come, they're aftermarket wheels. So the lug bolts are a lot smaller. So I have to get tuner bolts. Also, I had to special order them um, to be able to fit it. And I need to be able to also fit the bolt pattern because unfortunately the bolt pattern is 5x112 but the wheel hub is actually from a BMW so it was 72.6 and as you know the Macan uses the same traditional wheel hub size of 66.56 from an Audi or Mercedes or a few other cars as well but it's notorious for Volkswagen and Audi to carry that and Volkswagen uh, decided to put that same, same bolt pattern on the Macan even though the Cayenne and every other Porsche vehicle uses a different bolt pattern. So we just have to kind of play the rule of numbers and kind of play their game and try to f figure out a way to be able to fit these. So we're gonna do that today and I'm gonna show you the process. So for starters, um, the aftermarket uh, studs or the lug bolts uh, were actually 33 millimeters. As you know, this is uh, the factory ones are 28 millimeters, so there was a five millimeter difference. So I had to order some of these hub centric wheel spacers, which are actually um, the correct fitment, um, but they're five by 112s. I ordered them online, I'm gonna post the link. Um, they're also uh, are able to fit the 66.56 uh, size the week that comes in the wheel hub of these these are the hub centric rings that we're going to be using that will allow me to fit the wheel hub from here to the bmw um, hub size that i need these are actually 66.6 to 72.6 hub centric rings um, and i would like the metal ones instead of the plastic ones but um, those were going to take too long so i ordered the plastic ones just for the project and i will put the link to both of them you can order as you wish people say that both of them work the same way um, i just feel like the metal ones will last longer but these will do for now so and we got more packages essentially another fedex package this is going to be probably the wheel studs uh, i have a hard time trying to hold the camera and open these up at the same time so sorry if i'm struggling and i need a pocket knife so we'll have to uh grab my pocket knife I didn't bring my pocket knife, but I do have this little handy tool that I always carry with me in my bracelet that has a box opener. Where is that part that I need? Right there. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Hold this in place, stick that in there. Perfect. Voila. Then. These are the, I can't do this one handed. These are the babies that we're gonna be needing. So these are tuner style um, lug nuts, or lug bolts I guess I should say, that are a lot thinner to be able to fit through here. The factory ones will fit but the aftermarket ones, aftermarket wheels will not hold these. So they also have the, this type of, uh, oh, 
snap. I just realized that I need the cone ones, oh, the circle ones, and these are cone. But I think the aftermarket wheels have this style, so we should be in business. But we're about to find out. And these are gonna be the aftermarket wheels. As you can see, they're much bigger than the factory ones. So we should be able to uh, fill in that huge gap that you see over there. Yeah, the gap, I said it. And this is the aftermarket studs that we're going after. So these have to go in here. And as you can see, I should be able to clear it and install them. So we'll find out if I'm not missing any pieces and we should be able to get these puppies on right meow. Okay, here's an update. So, they sent us the lug studs, uh, lug bolts, I guess I should say, but they didn't send me the tool. Now, it is late, so Napa is closed. Um, let's see, Napa, AutoZone. Yeah, all the good car places close early because most mechanic shops close at six or seven, so naturally they're not gonna be open in AutoZone. Yeah, but we'll see if they have something for us. Check out that sunset. Beautiful. Thanks to all rallies, we did find the thing we needed. Perfect. So we should be able to mount the wheels today. So excited about this. installing the wheels um, I had to I forgot to check the tire pressure all around so after driving it the TPMS automatically checked the sensors and all around the wheels and figured out that I needed some air so I'm gonna make a stop and then I'm gonna record a video on what it looks like from the outside perfect 39 all around, so we got the perfect TPMS reading on all four wheels. Thank you. 
after driving the car for a little bit, I have realized that the suspension, it's a little more um, sportier. It's stiffer. I definitely can feel the bumps on the road. I definitely can feel the road as I drive it. Not a bad thing. Um, if you've driven a sports car, you will find out that that's actually what you want to be able to do is feel the road with the steering wheel. So even though this is a drive-by wire, if you will, of some sort, um, this gives you a little bit more of that response of that connection to the road that a lot of people look for in sports cars. So my preference is um, 22s are, it looks really good. Um, they're a bit bigger for my taste, but I think it sits well with the car just because of the size and the huge wheel uh, fenders that um, it has. Um, I was able to get all the TPMS settings uh, in correct order. They're all, uh, for the most part, 39 all around. Um, and I think that's a comfortable, not too hard, not too soft setting that I would like to drive it as a daily driver. Uh, the steering wheel, I feel like it's more, uh, like it's more to the ground, uh, if, you, if that makes sense, because the tires are so wide that I feel like the, I don't have to turn left and right as much, um, which is a good thing. Um, also, I feel like that when taking turns, it holds to the ground a little bit better than it did with the 19s, uh, mainly because it, you know it's wider uh, contact to the tire from the tires to the road, so it will attach and grip to the road even better. So I'm excited about that. Um, I am uh, going to drive it uh, slowly or just passively for the, for the next couple of days until I tighten the torque on it the way I want it. But I think I, uh, I'm really digging this size. Um, so tell me what you think in the comments. Um, you know, send me a message if you have any questions. Um, it's definitely been a research because um, I had to get the fitment perfectly. I had to get the size, the wheel hub, um, everything just perfect. Even from the studs to the um, uh, bolts. Um, I had to measure it. So it, it involved a lot of math and a lot of custom everything really so it is definitely uh something that unless you get the exact same wheels can't be duplicated but um you know it is something that you do have to do a little bit of math when it comes to measuring everything so um make sure you do your homework and due diligence when it comes to finding out the right wheel the right tire um the right width um and everything else in between now as far as the car um, the TPMS is set for 21 inch wheels. This is 22s, so it's a little bit outside of the, what the computer is set to be able to hold in this car. For now, I'm going to kind of drive it as is to see if, uh, if it affects the performance. Uh, the car does feel a little bit heavier, um, and it's expected on a bigger wheel. Um, I think the car was designed to, do, to have 21s. Um, so I'm going to drive it around to see if I like the, this setup. Uh, for a few months anyways uh, if I don't I could always sell the wheels and get a different set um, and then figure it out from there but I think with the uh, suspension the way I lowered it and the way it's set up right now it, it sits perfectly um, so we're gonna see uh, let me know what you think